Okay, moving on to race 36 here from the Black Forest. It's the restricted Hunter's Chase, a 0 to 100, over two and a half miles. So number one is nevertheless Carl Arroganti. Two is Whip Hand, Martin Leadham. Three, Pipe and Lie, James Follis, the favourite. Four is Lady Halucha, Alex Cherry. And five is Alexander Clam Bell for Jamie Hopkins. So another five to fall for me here. Over a good hunt to chase. I'm not sure where this Black Forest is. Is it Black Forest in Bavaria? Or is there a Black Forest in the UK? I'm not too sure. I don't know where I am. Um, I do know I've got to go to the Czech Republic shortly for the last race of the week. So, back to this one though. It's nevertheless that leads him into the first. Jumps it well. Gets over it by probably four to Lady Halucha. And Pipe and Light. Been around for a few seasons now. I think Pipe and Light for James Follis. We take the next. And we got Whip Hand for Martin Leader. And then Alexander Clam Bell. Take the next, nevertheless. Oof. And Pipe and Light went straight through the top of that. Certainly would have grazed his knees. So they're through three of the 14. And we're still a couple of miles to run. And the rain coming down. So it's still nevertheless. Probably leads by seven now. To Pipe and Light in second. Lady Helucha third. Whip Hands four. Alexander Clambell is five, but there's nothing between those four. They're starting to shorten the gap a little bit from nevertheless. Goes into the fourth, jumps it well. As does everybody else. Bit of a slow jump by Whip Hand for Martin Leader. And they're in the rear. They're Take them around this bend and they start to get into Indian file. So now one is nevertheless, two is Pipe and Light, three Lady Halucha, four Alexander Clam Belt, and Whip Hand is five. He'll be needing to get his whip in his hand at some point. But nevertheless, Jockey just having a little pull on the reins there. May feel he's gone off a little bit quick compared to the chasers. That's nevertheless, still leads. Big ditch here. Everybody's over it. Whip hand again was a bit slow at the back. Uh, the five are probably uh, the six. Oh, we've got a change here. Lady Halucha has gone into second, but no, Pipe and Light's going to take it back again. They're together, but they've shortened nevertheless his lead now, down to around about three to four. Oh, they've got a tight bend there. As so they approach the next, they'll we'll get round it. And everybody's over the seventh, but another slow jump at the rear by Whip hand. But it's nevertheless that leads us still. We're going to approach the next from Pipe and Lied and Lady Halucha. Alexander Clam Bell and Whip Hand. They're all in Indian file now. We've still got over a mile and a furlong left to travel. Don't know what all those crowd are doing out there. Was that the grandstand? Or was it just a tent in the middle of the park? Oh, and nevertheless went through the top of that one. And his lead's virtually gone now as Pipe and Lied draws alongside. There are a couple of lengths from the Lady Halucha, Alexander Clambell and Whip Hand. They go into the ninth. Everybody jumps it well. Bar Lady Halucha was slow. But it's nevertheless now by just still uh, half a length into the tenth. All over that one as well. Anything could win it from here. We've still got seven furlongs to go. And it's nevertheless and Pipe and Light. They're going to be together. And they're followed through by Lady Halucha. Alexander Clambell and Whip Hand. Oh, nevertheless, kicks on a little bit now. Doesn't want to share the lead with Pipe and Light. Alexander Clam, Bell, Whip Hand and Lady Halucha are all under a little bit of pressure now to close the gap. Nevertheless, into the 11th. Jumps it well, as does everybody. It's still nevertheless. Although well, being hands and heels, not quite hands and heels, being really scrubbed along now to keep the lead from Pipe and Light. It looks very ominous on its outside. And here's a... a picture from the fields. Um, it's nevertheless it still leads us from Pipe and Light in second. Chasing hard now is Lady Halucha, Whip Hand and Alexander Clam Bell. All five of them are going to approach the next pretty much together. So it's all five. Nothing in it. They might as well have started three furlongs out. Pipe and Light heads for home. Goes into this ditch, the twelfth. Jumps it the best. Pipe and Light from nevertheless challenging back again. Then we've got Lady Halucha, Whip Hand, Alexander Clam Bell. Anything could win this into the thirteenth, the penultimate. They're over it. Pipe and Light's got a couple of lengths lead now we've got two furlongs left to run who can make it up on the flat it's pipe and light pulling away now from nevertheless lady halucha whip hand trying to plug on alexander clan has got a lot to do so as they approach the last a furlong left to run pipe and lights over it easily pipe and light's going to take this by four to five fast finishing whip hand if perhaps if he'd gone in a better position at the beginning he may well have challenged for first place he is closing the gap but i think pipe and light's going to take it pipe and light from 
second place whip hand. Nevertheless, I think got up for third. Lady Halucha and Alexander Glambell of fourth and fifth. So pipe and live for James Follis. Another win for that horse. I'm pretty sure it's won seasons before. Whip hand for Martin Leedon was second. Third was nevertheless Carl Arriganti. Four Lady Halucha, Alex Cherry. And fifth was Alexander Clambell for Jamie Hopkins.